President's budget yesterday and I looked at it, I, I, I shook my head in disbelief. You know, $8.7 trillion in new spending, $1.6 trillion in new taxes, all these things. I, I remember back when I was complaining in 1996 at this very podium, that was during the Clinton administration, that was his budget, that was $1.5 trillion. Did you know, Madam President, that the deficit in this President's budget is greater than in the entire budget of 1996? to run this whole, whole thing called America. And it just, uh, just was a shocker to me. And it reminded me that um, we, people talk about the entitlements, yeah, we're gonna have to do something with that, but something we can do with right now is something I tried to do last year and the House members are trying to do right now. And that is when the President gave his message, uh, his message was, uh, uh, in that message, he talked about how he was going to freeze non-defense discretionary spending, uh, and, and everyone applauded, thinking that was a great austerity program. In reality, he's talking about after he has increased it from 08 levels to 010 to 2010 levels, and then freezing those increases in. Now, that's what I find unreasonable. So I reintroduce, it's Senate Bill 360, I have a whole lot of co-sponsors, to wind back the uh, discretionary spending to 08 levels and then freeze it at 08 levels. Now, I'll just tell you briefly what the bill does. It reduces the non-security uh, the uh, 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 spending to 08 levels. We'll hold it there for five years through 2016. After that, the spending will be allowed to increase with the CPI inflation between 2017 and 2021. The amount of money that would be saved by this uh, in that period of time would be over a trillion dollars. Now, put the chart up here. This chart shows the uh, what's going to happen if we don't do this. The red is what is projected in the uh, president's budget. The blue is what's projected if we are successful in doing this. I'm very proud that the House of Representatives, the Republicans, in their budget have put together my bill that I had last year that I'm reintroducing today as S360 as well, part of their, uh, their budget. I think it's responsible and uh, we will be looking forward to getting co-sponsors. And I thank again the, the distinguished senator from Maine for allowing me to bust in on you on this. Thank you. Madam President. Senator from Maine. 